man so so far so good man um first and foremost i want to start out saying uh this black rats podcast reporting to you live with another one you already know what time it is man uh today man we talking to a man that uh i feel like man is a definition of a ultimate hustler you know what i'm saying um first and foremost how you doing today you know what i'm saying i know you quite busy i appreciate your time um you know, uh, my platform is more so uh, about, you know what I'm saying, showing light on, you know, um, our people, people who dare to be great, you know what I'm saying, um, and you one of these individuals, uh, and, and it's all about, you know, um, you know, bringing more light about what you're doing, even though you're doing major things, but put more light out on it and um, showing the world what you're all about, you know what I'm saying, and hopefully not my greatness coming your way. Um can you see me though? Because I I don't see a, a picture of you. Yeah, you know, I, I can see you. My uh, I I totally apologize. My um, as far as like my video is uh messed up or whatever. My camera, I gotta get a whole new camera. But okay. um, this is how I usually do it. Um, because for the most part, I I just be uh focusing on the words and and not myself and putting a number of highlights on those who I interview. You feel me? But um, I totally apologize. You got my number. Um, you can most definitely hit me in. You know what I'm saying? We can talk face to face and all that. Um, first and foremost, I, I like to get into it. Um, I know you do a lot of great things or whatever the case may be. But, you know, um, first and foremost, where you from? I'm from South Jamaica, Queens, God. Already, already. Um, one of the questions I wanted to, um, to know off top is, like, what's some of them childhood lessons that you learned? from, you know, growing up in Southside Jamaican Queens that you took along with you, you know what I'm saying, your journey to college to get to that next level? Well, most of the lessons was basically, to be honest, from my mother and father. They the people that I looked to first and foremost when it came to learning and telling me what I needed to do. You know what I'm saying? I trusted their guidance. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they just always told me just to be into myself, basically. You know what I'm saying? Be your best friend. Just have confidence in doing what you're doing. And that's just how I move. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm supremely confident in myself and my abilities. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest lesson that I learned. Everybody that I know that made it out, out of South Dominican, Queens, 50, myself, Lost Boys, many others, Mickey, Don DeMarco, we all had extreme confidence and belief in ourselves. And I think that that's a, a real trait from people from South Jamaica, Queens. Yeah, facts. So I ain't going to lie. That's that's most definitely dope. You know what I'm saying? Having your parents there to, to guide you. You know what I'm saying? Especially in areas where it's like, you know, um, um, I, I, I think South J Jamaica, Queens is like similar to like Baltimore in, in a way, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, real rough. You know what I'm saying? Harsh environments. But um, one thing that I commend you, you know, you stay focused throughout all of that. What was one of the things that you realized, like, I, I, I know you've seen the money in the flash and all that, you know what I'm saying, from living out there. But, like, what's one of the things that really kept you on course, though? Playing basketball, I was an athlete. You know what I'm saying? That's how I, that's how I got known throughout the city. You know what I'm saying? But when you play basketball and you're good, like that's the way out out, out the hood. You you either got a you know what I'm saying wicked jump shot or you selling crack rock. You know what I mean? Max or God though, and I know you, you was know playing with like guys were like skipping Maloo and and all these other guys and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, Skip you is know? my man. Skip is my man. Shaheen is one of my best friends still. My man Dwayne Woodward, forty coaches for well, his coaching college basketball. So it's 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 a lot of us that actually made it playing ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts though. And um, I know I was listening to one of your interviews before and you were saying like, you know, uh you was like a, a standout athlete as far as like with baseball too, playing in all um, you know, in all positions as well. Tournaments, yeah, I play all, all all positions in baseball. Yeah, facts though, man. Um, but th this is the one of the things I wanted to get into and while we on this basketball thing. I know you mentioned at one time uh it took one situation for you to kind of like Throw that away, you know what I'm saying? Throw yeah. that baseball to the uh to the wayside, but you still stay focused, you know what I'm saying, in your journey of greatness. Like, you know what I'm saying? I from 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 realizing that basketball was gonna like what what brought you to the music though? 
Uh, I was at Morgan State, and um, they had open tryouts, and my basketball coach called down there and told the coach that I'm, I'm there, and I, I was ranked. I was like top top 40 in, in the country, top 60, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I went and tried out or whatever. I dominated it. I dominated the whole tryout. <laughs> And they didn't have a scholarship for me until I was going to be a junior. And I was like, so you want me to take out loans to back this dude up that's not better than me until I'm a junior? Like, I didn't understand that because my frontal lobe wasn't developed. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know protocol and the loyalty to somebody who who, who has signed with them already. I'm just like, I'm coming from Southside. Like, the best player plays. Thanks, you know though, saying? God, though, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then when that didn't occur, I stopped playing basketball. One of the dudes that I met at, at, at the tryout that actually didn't make the team but was really good is still a good friend of mine. His name is Marlon Powell. Marlon, it, Marlon put me with some other D.C. dudes, and they was like, yo, you wild popular. We about to throw parties. Throw a party with us. And you bring the New York crowd, and we'll bring the Maryland, D.C. crowd out. And I did it, and I never looked back after that. Everybody came out to the party because of me. The party was lit. I liked the attention that I got. It was the same as, like, basketball. I didn't need to go work out or nothing like that. I just used my popularity to pack parties and make money. Then I started managing DJs. Then Clue's girlfriend at the time was roommates with my girlfriend at the time, so I built a relationship with Clue. Clue started doing my parties. Clue was from Queens, too. I I, I, I took over the Yemoja Council at Morgan State. I brought Jay-Z down. I brought the Lost Boys down. I just started making it go down. It, it was just a new rush for me. Like, this was the best thing since since, since basketball. You know what I mean? Yeah, thanks, though. Yeah, thanks. Um, but that's why I'm saying, like, if it... To me, like looking at your journey, it's like you stand on your tsunami. You feel me? Like, you know, when situations come or go, you always find in a different way to 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 climb upon your own mountaintop for real, for real. But like, when did you know at that moment, like this was for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because like you say, you <laughs> went from playing AAU, playing baseball playing basketball you feel me mm -hmm. and like you said it's like you showing improvement and they ain't respecting you know what i'm saying they ain't respecting your game they on some political shit in basketball yeah, for real, that's for real. True. yeah. you feel me you doing yeah, your promotion I, I had to learn that i had to yeah, learn that you feel me stuff the hard way <laughs> but i'm saying you know you're I'm doing saying? your promotions brand jay-z boxing all these people down you know things you know you getting your name and all that but you still chasing at the greatness what was that time that you realized like the way that you was going was destined for you. You know what I'm saying? You, because in reality, you created your own wave. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, a girlfriend of mine at the time came to the crib and she was reading Bob Magazine. And she saw a write-up on Puff Daddy. This was before Puffy, Biggie, the East Coast, West Coast, before that. she had Puff wasn't on the cover. I didn't know Puffy yet at, at, at the time. You know, everybody knows I know Puffy well now. But she came home. She came to my crib. She had bought the magazine. And she was like, yo, I'm, I'm coming to your crib. I'm coming to your crib. So she got her, her girlfriend to drop it to my crib. So I was like, yo, Keisha, what's up? What's the problem? She was like, yo, I just read about this Puff Daddy dude inside so Bob Magazine. And he's doing, and he did everything that you're doing. And you didn't even know nothing about him. He went to college. He throws parties. He's managing niggas. Yo, you on the right path because everybody was getting on me about playing ball or just using my my um scholarship and just go be a doctor or something. Right. And she was like, yo, you on the right path because everything you said you was going to do, this is how this dude came up. And I read the article. And I said, yo, I'm on the right path. I'm going to go full steam ahead, yo. Yeah. That was the moment. Facts though, what what's what's the major benefit of having absolute belief in oneself and no doubt? I mean, doubt all, doubt will creep in. Like I'm not a perfect okay. man, but the <laughs> but the part is managing the doubt, like re rebounding from the doubt. See, us us people, we think that when something bad goes wrong, that's a sign not to do it. Sometimes it's just a sign to see how bad you want it. Bags you know what I'm saying? God. Like, <laughs> like, like, do you want it this bad, my guy? Like, or or is one little 
break inside your um plan gonna ruin everything that you tried to get. Nah, not not me. I'm, I'm gonna smoke my bud. I'm gonna start thinking, and I'm gonna dust my shoulders off, and I'm gonna get back up because I told you I got supreme belief in myself. God, like I just do. People look at me. People have all. People have looked at me for years and been like, "Yo, bro, like what, what, what make you think you're gonna make it in the music business? And you don't know nobody there." Thanks, though. <laughs> I don't know, bro, but I know I know enough people, and I know how to put connections together. I know how to merge bridges. I don't burn them. I merge them, nigga, and I walk across the water on that bridge. You know what I'm saying? Like that's. That's just me. If you look at my my relationship with Clue, it's been cultivated in over 25 years. We didn't just jump in and, and, and be best friends. We did business for 10 years straight. Then the next five years, we was cool. Never did no business together. Then the following 10 years, we started rocking. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? Well, it's you know definitely... I've always just been on my own, God. Like, it's a lot of people that just want to be with people. I've never been that guy. Like, I'm cool where, where I'm at. That's where the party at, my nigga. That's it's lit where I'm at. No matter, no matter what if I was in college playing basketball right now with my wife, my wife would tell you, my wife come home and she'd be like, I'm thank God I don't got one of these dudes like these girls is complaining about they man being boring. She's like, I don't know what the fuck you gonna do day to day, nigga. I, I might come home and be like, yo, we're gonna do bye tonight. She like, what you mean, yo, Pat? Yo, I gotta work. Fuck your job. Oh you know God, what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we out. You know what I'm saying? But that—that's just me. I'm spontaneous like that. Like, I've been in the music business for twenty something years. Like, when you do that, you don't know no rules. There are no rules in, in the music business except for succeed. That's it. That's the rule. You want to be somebody? Make some money, nigga. Yeah, facts, be somebody. Though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all God. I ain't gonna lie. And like you say about managing, I know you uh was managing one of the uh top super producers, you know what I'm saying? Uh Rockwell yeah. and everything like that. How how was you able to uh connect with him? To be honest, I was fucking the girl who was his publisher. <laughs> and I was knocking her head off with my dick, and she was like, Yo, I'm gonna introduce you to Rockwell. He, he's a young dude like you, and I knew Rock already from playing basketball. You know what I'm so saying? You play ball. So That's what's up. yeah, yeah. So she married and Rock is from Queens. So she all she did was bridge the gap. That's all she did. Once he met me, we was in, and I had songwriters. So he needed songwriters. I had some songwriters named Big Draws, and he needed the the songwriters, and they wound up writing for um Beyonce for Destiny's Child and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And once I bought the songwriters to him, me and him was chilling, smoking. Started traveling. We had went to the Grammys together. And once we went to the Grammys together, we were together from that That's point for eight years straight. And, and 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 he made me an A-list manager. Nine out of ten of my connections came from being the A-list manager managing Rock Wilder. Thank you, Rock Wilder. Yeah, salute to him and salute to both of y'all, man. Doing doing great things for real for real. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I, I just want to double back, but I'm ready to still stay on this topic for real, for real. But like, it's just like what you were saying, like, you don't mind being alone, like, you know, from, you know, staying to yourself, you know what I'm saying? Living out there in Southside Jamaica, it's a Queens, not saying, you know, you, you never was outside, but then like, you know, playing in the whole nother district, you feel me to yeah. going off to Maryland, you feel me? Like solo, yeah. dolo, constant belief in yourself, like riding on your, your own tsunami and like, and believing in yourself, believing in your own ca capabilities. One thing I heard you say before, like, you know what I'm saying? You better on yourself, you know, um, you know, you was one of these type of uh, managers that, you know, you would manage everybody else, get everybody else deals and things like that of that nature. You feel yeah. me? That made sure everything was complete. Like, what made you want to, you know, set the presidents like that so high? Where a lot of people, they doing a the bad minimum and, and they want to take on all of the glory, though. I mean, they just wasn't giving me the glory. When you're a manager, it's, it's a thankless job. You get all the blame when shit goes wrong and you get no credit when everything goes right. So it wasn't even a choice. It's like people, it's like when you're a manager, you need people to see your work 
And then when they see your work, you either manage somebody else, which I started managing Maya, you know what I'm saying, because of my work. I started managing Yummy. I started managing the Soul Diggers, which is K-Mac, K-Mac. Coyle Ray is signed to K-Mac right now. That's my man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Shout out to him. I just, yo, I just, I just, yo, I just, I just, I just fuck with niggas, bro. Like, Thanks, I put my best foot forward, bro. I know how to make money. People fuck with me because I know how to make money. I make my own money and I'm going to make you money. Clue always says, I'm famous for coming with the plan. Because they always say, Clue, why do you do with S1? He'd be like, because he comes with the plan. I just got to do what he tells me to do and I'm good. And I'm going to get paid. I trust him. Like, people know, yo, when we do deals, all the money between the, my friends and everything, it all comes to me. I disperse the money, bro. Because I'm the one that they trust. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not the same dude to be like, I ain't doing that. And you might get mad at me. We be like, why you ain't doing that? Because I'm not, I don't, I don't do that, bro. I got standards, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not fucking with that. Oh, well, you gonna turn it down? Yeah, I just turned down money. I, I, yo, I, I, I do, I, 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 I host events for a thousand dollars. So dude called me from Queens. He don't got the stat. So I said, yo, bro, since you from Queens, I'll do it for you for 500. You know what I'm saying? He called me, yo, 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 I'm sending you the money Saturday. Cool. He don't send the money Saturday. Yo, I'm gonna take this gig. Um, Sunday, I tell him that. He says, yo, I'm I'm sending it to you first thing Monday. I waited till three o'clock today and say, yo, bro, I'm taking a gig in, in Atlanta and it's for more money. Oh, so you was gonna pass up a gig? Nah, bro, let me send it to you now. I can't, bro. You right. supposed to send it Saturday. Right. You didn't send it Saturday. I spoke to you Sunday. You supposed <laughs> to send it Monday morning. <laughs> It show love to him because, because he's from Queens, though. Oh, God, though. Yo, you ain't sending money morning, so I sent him a message. He he never responded to this day right now. Like, to this moment, I said, yo, bro, I'm going to take my Atlanta gig. When you ready, hit me. Send me the deposit, bro. It's business. It's how I eat. Period. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. And But when people understand standards... And when people work with you and they need you to have this, you're the person they're coming to, not the other people. Yeah, facts on God, though. Um, I know you got your platform, you know, a uh, bag through that's jumping off real heavy. Y'all bringing in, you know, top tier, you know, um, guests online and everything like that. Um, one thing I noticed about you, like, even like when you was on other different, um, you know, uh, uh platforms and things like that, you always you know, um, thinking above hand, you feel me always standing down on your square. You feel me? Um, and, and, and sometimes a person, you know, they, they will wonder like, who's this guy in a room? You feel me? But when you speaking, you speaking facts, like, like what makes you stand on principle, no matter what the situation may be. Cause you know, you got some people, they, they might just want to, you know, make things cool because of relationships or whatever. My but like, mom's, what makes you bro. stand on principle though? My mom's, bro. My mom's not no liar, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when I think about stuff, I'll be like, yo, if 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 my mom saw me, because, because, she, because she got dementia right now, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, if my mom saw me, my mom would be like, yo, bro, that's not even true. Yo, bro, why you change your mind, bro? Do what you do what you want to do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> be have conviction, bro. Like, is that what you wanted to do? And I would be like, nah, so why you do it? Thanks. That's how she would be looking at me. Yo, why you ain't standing on your square, bro? Was you wrong in what you said? Nah, ma, I just didn't want to. You just didn't want to what, bro? You look crazy now. You don't stand on your square. You looking crazy. And I would be like, you, you don't want to hear that when your mom is a boss and she's a thug, son. You ain't coming home to that. Like, you like, like, lying is not even, yo, take your punishment. You more, yo, you more liable to get away with it from mom dukes if you do it and confess to it and be like, I did it. But if she know you lie and you tap and you want to be outside, like you walked up and all that, but then you come inside and you soft and you tapping, that's, that's not, mm -mm. she's going to be like, who are you for real? Yeah, facts though, God. And that's what I think about. And that's what I think about. I think about my mama. These, these, these people don't have people that got standards. People, they don't got somebody that when you come home, they be like, yo, bro, for real though? 
You embarrass me. You embarrass us as a family, as a people. People don't got that. I have that. To this day, my mother and father are still together. My father take care of my mother, hand and foot. My, my nigga with dementia puts her on the toilet, carries her everything, washes her ass, all that. That's how beastly thorough she was. And this nigga's like, I'll do whatever, my dude, to keep you alive. Yeah, facts, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, man. Um, I, I pray that, you know, your mom get healed and everything like that, man. You know, uh, much power and respect to your family and everything. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. that's, on, that's on some real shit, you know. Um, But like how you were saying that, too, like, you know, it's like nowadays a lot of people don't have like uh integrity and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody yeah. don't have, you know, it's like, you know, people just do as they will. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. It's, but, weird. Um, it's weird for people when you have integrity now. They look at you funny like, what's up with you? Facts, like, what's up with me because I got integrity? <laughs> facts, though. That's crazy. But that's why we got you on the show because you one of those ones. You feel me? And um, like I just wanted to tell you, you know what I'm saying? On air, you feel me? Salute to you. Keep on doing what you doing, man. You you most definitely grinding. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm most definitely learning. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people learning from your skill set and everything like that. And um, and backfield, man, is is a motherfucking beast, though. But I wanted to ask you uh, a couple questions. What's the first thing that come to mind? I'm gonna say a couple names or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, just let me know what's the first thing that come come to mind for real, for real. Um, the first one is uh, um, uh, OT the real bars. Okay. Um, the next one is um, uh, uh eight at the table. Family. They gave me an opportunity. When um a blind chance to show myself, so family. Oh, oh, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Morgan State Foundation. Okay. I'm a cougar for life, bro. Oh God, though, it is in the city, <laughs> though. You feel me? Oh God, man, I'm a cougar for life. Bro. Shout out to Morgan State. Shout life, out to the bro. whole B boy. You know what I'm saying? Hell shout yeah, out to man. the whole yo. Shout out to the whole B boy. Shout out to Dundalk County. Yo, oh, shout like, out to Be More City. Shout out to Baltimore County. Oh God! Shout out to the Harbor. Shout out to Phillips with the with the seafood for years. We can walk in and get you some 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 some, some, some shrimp for cheap. Bad you know what I'm saying? Up. Like, <laughs> shout out to Dunbar. Shout out to Mike Lloyd. Shout out to Dante Wright. You know what Bad I'm saying? Shout up. out they to those guys Phil. too. Oh God! Shout out to Phil. Phil Juan Dixon's brother, my man Phil, that man is Carmelo. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Smitty. I was out there. Shout out to Papa Sean, a.k.a. Sean Green, who, who, who I know is in Boca Raton, but he's still a Baltimore legend. Shout out to k Dog, Baltimore legend. Diggy, shout out to Diggy. Like, I, yo, bro. I, Are you well was, connected on God, though? I was in Baltimore, bro. I, 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 I was out there, bro. Yeah, facts, though, on God. All right, so the next one we got, we got Corey Rooney. Wait, shout out to North and Broadway. I actually lived on North and Broadway a couple doors down from the Great Blacks and Wax Museum right in the hood. Okay. Dope spot in the back, son, straight up. Facts, though, I ain't even gonna lie, though. Like, North I, and I used to live down the street from there, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I like, lived on North and Broadway. It's all, it's oh, all, yeah. it's all the, the remade cribs in there that look like the Browns. So I was literally... Four doors down from the great blacks and wax in the hood, son. Yeah, in the facts hood, facts or a guy. When so the we wire got, um, was popping, I was out there when the wire was popping. When they wrote about the wire, I was out there. Yeah, bro. Quick question though. Like <laughs> I was out there. Since we on some Baltimore shit for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Uh how, how did Baltimore influence you, if any? Yo, Baltimore made me not want to be there. It's so thug and it, it was so niggas. Hung. Yo, everybody killing everybody. It's just like that was a drug town to me. And it just showed me like I don't want to be here for the long haul. I don't want to, I don't want to be like this. I, I I dibbled and dabbled. I almost lost my life in Baltimore. In the mall. Remember that the those spots that they called the mall that was on um 30. I can't I can't remember where it was. Um it was right. <laughs> A block from the gallery 21 east though that main strip 33rd is the 33rd i can't remember but being out there with them thugs they they showed me the real thug life bro 
I'm not a jail nigga. I did 23 days in a Baltimore penitent prison, and nah, bro. Yeah, yeah it was crazy. Was else, it was man. hell, son. Yeah, well, God, yo, it, yo, bro, it showed me, it showed me, yo, bro, this ain't yo, bro. Go to school, go do the music business, and leave this thug life to the thugs, bro. That's that what so. it taught me. Um, so the next one we have is uh Corey Rooney. I see no one of my biggest mentors right there. Already, uh, we uh Jay Z. Oh man, I, I, Beyonce. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to my mind about Jay Z. He got Beyonce. He lit. He lit. Thanks, though, God. NASA the single. Oh man, his mother Coquita. His mother, my man King Y.K.'s mother grew up with me. And um, she was one of my best friends. So but rest in peace to Coquita. She died of cancer. So I, I think about Coquita when I think about NASA. Yeah, facts though. Um and, and and then the last one we got is bag fruit. The oh uh, man, the beginning. That's my career right there. If it wasn't for, for Bag Fuel, y'all wouldn't even know me. Bag Fuel carried me to This Is 50. Bag Fuel carried me to the Hot New Hip Hop. Bag Fuel carried me to Eight at the Table. Bag Fuel carried me to My Expert Opinion. Now Bag Fuel is carrying me through the rest of my career. It's carrying me to Air Pollution with Clue. It's carrying me to all the recognition that I'm getting right now. Bag Fuel is everything, bro. Nice I, ain't gonna, I, I ain't gonna lie I feel like you know after everything you've done you feel me and continue to do you know what I'm saying I feel like you know what I'm saying they most definitely need to have a street named after you in Southside Jamaica Queens for real, for real. <laughs> on God man. maybe one day you, that's a you're dream doing a lot though day. you feel me I ain't gonna lie you got a lot of people that do less than that you feel me you know what I'm yeah. saying get recognized so I, you know one thing I believe is you know um you know, the only thing that can kill greatness is death. You feel me? And you living strong, living hard. You feel me? And, and and really shining, you know what I'm saying? And doing what you need to do for real, for real. But one of the questions I wanted to ask you, bro, you know, on the real for real is, uh, you know, what's what do you feel like is some some of your best uh, uh qualities about yourself? My mind. My mind is my number one at my number one thing that I got and my ability to negotiate. I understand business. Okay. That's what people don't understand. People know the creative and everything, but it's very hard to understand business and how to be loyal in business and, and how not to just think about yourself. You have to think about the total unit. You got to think about Clue getting paid the most. You got to think about myself getting paid. Then I got the security. Then I got the road manager. Then I got the producer. Then I got the goons. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to eat, bro. Yeah, thanks I, I, I got the ability to put everybody in position to eat. I, I I speak the language of all of them. I speak everybody's language, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's my greatest ability to, to make things work with people, bro. Facts, though. Make people like move, to make people move for me. Because you can know people, but people don't move for you. People will move and do things for me. How How did you establish that? So Put when people out have there like doing absolute for people belief first. in you and will move for you, like how do you establish that? It's over time. You just do right by people or over time and then they spread the word. You know what I'm saying? It takes time to do that. People got you, you got to do good business by people. Then they then they start spreading the word like, yo, son, do good business. Yo, son, a man of his word. Yo, son came through for me. Yo, son did a favor for me for nothing. I got you know how many favors I got a bank with niggas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, I got favors in the bank, in the bank, bro. Like I made people money. Like me and Clue's whole premise was me throwing parties and paying him first. He knew when I booked him, he was gonna get paid. Thanks. That's the first thing you do to build a relationship. Oh, oh, this nigga booked me. I got the deposit. When I go down there, I'm definitely gonna get paid. It ain't gonna be no problems. I'm gonna get on. Everything. That's how you start building. So when you call, they picking up. Hey, yo, son, what else you got? What else you trying to do? Son? What else you doing? Because they know they're going to get paid. So when you call them and say, can you do this for me? Of course I'll do that for you. You paid me. So once you have the 
favors. Then you build upon that. Then you might go travel clue. Yo, you going to the Grammys? Do you, do you mind if I tag along? Nah, because you've been paying me for six months. You've been solid. You ain't no boo but a fool, dude. You come in dolo, you will come out to the Grammys. Now you start meeting people. Hey, yo, what he do? Oh, he he, he throw mad parties in, in, in Baltimore. Oh, well, we be coming through Baltimore. Let me get your number now. Yeah, people don't build, them. man. People don't build. I be in Baltimore all the time with people. I went to college there. I got foundation there. I be there. It's people that's trying to get me to do stuff. And I be like, Baltimore right now, book me. Yo, I don't know. But you booking all these doo-doo head niggas, though. Hey, so we're gonna try to make that thing change for real, for real on God. Yeah, I'll I be telling them build, build, build a relationship with me. Like, so what if it's not super duper packed the first time? It might be super duper packed. I'm gonna get Clue to post it. I'm gonna post it. Biscuit's gonna post it. I'm gonna get people that live in Baltimore to post it. You might get more promotion by just giving me a thousand dollars than you ever got. You feel what I'm saying? I'm coming down with the dudes. Jump in the car with me. You know what I mean? Like That's you don't even God. know I'm call, I'm calling niggas from DC. Yo, I'm gonna be down there. Yo, come through. Yo, pay son. So son, no, I'm I'm, I'm fucking worth it. You know what I'm saying? I, I learned that from Clue. Sometimes you gotta put stuff together. People ain't gonna put everything together for you, bro. That's what's you know the what, what what do you feel like is the importance of connections though? Connections is everything, bro. Oh god. That that ain't a trick question. That's a trick question because it's Cause, because nowadays everybody knows that the relationship game is big. Black black people didn't know that for a long time. Now they know. So when they don't build a relationship and they do the grimy shit, you already know where they coming from. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no excuse. Everybody know a relationship. When you go to Jay-Z, you go to Lenny Yes, you go to myself, you go to Clue, you go to whoever you want to go to. The number one thing they say is you don't know, relationship thing, bro. If you don't got a relationship, you don't got nothing. Money runs out. Relationships don't when you cultivate them. Facts, though, man. On God, man. And like I said, I most definitely appreciate you. You feel me? I know you're a busy man. For real, for real, man. Um, but keep on doing what you're yeah, doing. I, I, I got my wife here waving. I got my wife here waving me down because I'm 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 actually doing some uh, renovating of our of our flat. Because we we got a flat in um New York, a three bedroom. So we renovating it because I'm, I'm back and forth from from PA to here. So since I'm here so much more now filming, we got to make our house a lot more comfortable. So we're going to spend like 15, 20,000 just to put new couches and TVs and stuff in it just to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, God, I know, bro. <laughs> look, look, I'm shopping right now. Look, so so people know I ain't capping. Look, 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 look where I'm at. I'm inside. I'm, I'm in restoration hardware right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And like I said, I right most now. definitely appreciate you, King, for real, for real. But um, before we go, I, I just got two last questions for you. For no real. problem, no problem, um, no problem. For the young kids that's coming up in the game, you know, um, as far as with business, uh, can you give them uh, the best words of advice you could ever give them as far as dealing with business? Research. Research your business. Okay. Research your business. That's it. Inside the music business, I never really read books. I fucking graduated from, from college, barely read. But I read everything you need to know about the music business by Kashif. I explored. I studied Mark Pitts. I studied Puff Daddy. I learned the production company. I, I researched, bro. And now you can find out stuff way simpler now than when I was doing it. It was, so. you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> creativity people will research creativity and be like yo i'm gonna go buy this record i'm gonna go do this I'm, I'm gonna do that but they don't take time to research business research your business tactics what you need to know get lawyers will help get in pocket with a lawyer you got to research lawyer too you got to do meetings with them you might need them. if you do a retainer with a lawyer for 15 hours answers your questions you reinvest in, in yourself I went to school and paid $80,000. You can pay a lawyer and pay $1,500 and, and pay him maybe $3,000 and know everything that you need to know about moving forward with a talent, with a contract, with a connect, all types of shit. Reinvest in yourself, God, please. Thanks, though. And if you can thank God for anything, what would that be, King? Uh, my mother and father. And, and my wife. 
and my kid, just my overall family. I'm blessed from a loving, tight knit family. My cousins, my cousin Terry, and two Shauna, Peter, my cousin Eddie. I'm I'm from a loving family. I thank God for that. Yeah, man. On well, both sides, my mother's side of the family and, and, and my father's side. Yeah, man. And most definitely shout out and power and peace to your family. Power and peace, you know what I'm saying? The Heineken and Ghost, you know what I'm saying? Your partners in crime, you feel me? On bag fuel, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I wish nothing but success yeah. again. Devers King, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on grinding hard. Keep on riding on you, Tsunami. Y'all already know what it is, man. That's a black ass motherfucking exclusive, you know what I'm saying? But I saw in a building, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you, you man. But ready. anybody that's in Southside Jamaican Queens, y'all need to stand up right now on God. <laughs> I appreciate that, guy. I appreciate yes, sir. that. Already, man, you stay great. They are though. They support me big time. Yes, sir. And um, I, I said they are. They support me big time in Southside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most definitely, man. I already know, man. Um, uh, just keep on doing what you're doing. Um, and I appreciate you for coming on the channel. You know what I'm saying? And supporting Black Rats podcast. And um, we're gonna keep on supporting you. Um, anything coming in the near future? You have anything? Any events? Or anything like that coming look out up? for me being look look out for me. I should be on the radio soon in a major city. <laughs> look out for that. That's the next wave. 